Coming up next on ATE TV. Precision agriculture. I show them what they could do with their tractor to get the maximum input out of their fields, best seeding ratios. We can get the best output with it too. Laser and photonics technology. Laser technology. They use them in phone lines, um, television screens. The military uses them. And biomanufacturing. Biomanufacturing is the growing of cells uh, in order to create a drug that you might want to cure disease. Now on ATE TV. From across the country to your own backyard, ATE TV shows you the many advanced technological education opportunities available at your local community college. With the advent of GPS technology, agricultural production has been changed forever. Let's meet Joe Terrence, a second year student at Kirkwood Community College, to find out more about precision agriculture. My name is Joe Terrence. It's my second year. I graduate in May. We came here and talked to the dean and asked him what he thought would be the best program to get into right now for agriculture, and he said the GPS technology. And uh, he mentioned some things about it, what we'd be doing in class, showed me some maps that people have made, prescriptions, and kind of fell in love with it from there. So. and show them what they could do with their tractor to get the maximum input out of their fields, best seeding ratios, not much overlap, we can get the best output with it too. I work for Green Valley Ag and Turf in Mount Vernon. I talk to customers about what they could do to maximize their inputs, sell them equipment for their machinery, and then I support it. My advice for students here that plan on coming or are thinking about it is just to do it. It's good. It, it, the sky's the limit with this precision farming. It, dealerships are hiring and we need the people. What I do after this program is I'm going to go back to Green Valley. I'm going to stay working for them. Um, they've offered me a full-time position there. So I plan on just staying with those guys. I've met a lot of good guys there, customers. They like working with me and I like working with them. So. It sounds like Joe has some really exciting career opportunities ahead of him. Want to learn more about precision agriculture? Be sure to visit your local community college. Let's meet Jasmine Murphy at Central Carolina Community College and find out more about the emerging medical and manufacturing career opportunities in the world of laser and photonics technology. I'm Jasmine Murphy. This is my first year here at Central Carolina Community College on the laser and photonics program. I was studying engineering in high school. I took a couple of technical classes. I decided to come to a technical college because Mr. Beasley talked to my senior class about the laser and photonics program, and I found it interesting, so I decided to come and attend the program. As you can see here, we have the same size beam that goes on and on and on and on and on. I set aside a day a week for recruiting. And not only into just lasers and photons, I try to recruit them in just technology, period. The negative lens, which diverges the beam, and the next lens. And I target but someone that's going to come into a program and work real hard and study real hard. Got it in single line mode. Vary it somewhat. Protector. Lowest range of input. We need to be on cutting edge, so we need strong students out of high school entering into the field of technology. Laser technology, they use them in phone lines, um, television screens, and the military uses them. One of those lenses actually makes it larger than... Oh yes, one of these lenses 
when it comes out. It's called a diverging lens. After I graduate, I hope I will be making lasers for the military. They use like the um, laser beams off of body heat, the use it under camouflage, like in the forest and stuff like that. Looks like Jasmine will be able to set her sights on several career opportunities in the laser and photonic technology field. If you're interested in this cutting edge technology, be sure to visit your local community college. Have you ever wanted to know how vaccines and insulin are created? Then you might be interested in the world of biomanufacturing. Take a look. I'm using like organic materials to manufacture things. It might be body parts or... Or, or uh, biodiesel fuel. Enzymes eating garbage or something. Um, but I, I don't know yet. Biomanufacturing is the use of living organisms or parts of them to produce uh, many pharmaceutical products such as vaccines and insulin, things like that. Biomanufacturing is the growing of cells uh, in order to create a drug that you might want to cure disease. Using cells that you genetically modify to act as the factories for your biomanufactured product. Some examples would be tissue plasminogen activator. That is a clot buster and would be injected into, say, uh, somebody who, who had a stroke to dissolve the clot. This is a product of the biotech industry, and that's what our students learn to do. You can start your career in biomanufacturing in as little as two years, and your local community college can help. For more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.